Well, buddy, you asked for it, and today you're gonna get it. All the new updates on the 2023 Jayco Eagle 330 RSTS. If you're looking for a fifth wheel, but you don't wanna give up the bed of your truck, or you just wanna take the extra steps out of the equation because maybe you got bad knees, this is the biggest, baddest, most highest end thing I've ever seen in travel trailers. Hey everybody, welcome to Coldwater, Michigan. My name is Josh the RV Nerd. This is Bicious RV in our hometown store, and that is the 330 RSTS Eagle. And if you've never seen it, a lot of people think that like travel trailers and fifth wheels, they're they're not built the same, but this is the one that just bucks that trend more than anything else I've ever seen. I have long called the Eagle Travel Trailer Series a flat deck fifth wheel. And this year, they've absolutely taken that designation up another notch. Last year, Eagles had a very valid concern from some viewers. Their auto level option that they had hung down so low that if you went over some speed bumps you were like gritting your teeth you were afraid you're gonna rip your landing gear off of that thing no longer is that a problem because not only have they now standardized automatic leveling on this which I've only ever seen Cougar do before um, they they literally gave it fifth wheel landing gear this has a full fifth wheel automatic leveling system on it just like its big um, uh, fifth wheel sister the 321 RSTS they this is a part for part match with a fifth wheel. If you want the higher end luxury features you find in a lot of fifth wheels, but you want it on one flat deck, you don't want to give up your truck bed. I can say it till I'm blue in the face. That is exactly where this one comes in. Now the thing is, this thing is long, it is strong, it is down to get the camping on, and it is heavy, heavy, heavy. This thing weighs just under 11,000 pounds dry. <laughs> Ford Rangers and half tons need not apply, my friends. Not only the fact is it about 11,000 pounds dry before cargo, but it's also about 40 foot tip to tail. But here's a cool thing. If you don't want to haul this big sucker around, call us. We can always set up delivery for you. You can keep your little Geo Metro. Um, <laughs> you don't need a big truck to handle this thing. I've talked a lot. There's, I'm going to show you all, all the little updates. I'm going to show you all the good things that have persisted through since last year. I'll show you a couple points of concern, some good, bad, ugly, and everything in between. And if you appreciate that fair look at things, uh, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you're out there with a little hashtag RV nerd herd down there in the uh, video description or the comment section. And let's get started because we've got a lot to cover. And it's crazy. Despite the fact that this thing is big, it is heavy, it is expensive, it is crazy popular. And the only way I was able to get you some 23 footage without waiting a long, long time uh, was actually we had one of these come in that was already purchased from one of our customers. We haven't gone through and done its, uh, you know, final prep checks and everything yet. So I didn't mind kind of uh, stepping through here, but it's uh, this one's already on its way out the door. Uh, the good news, um, they make more. So we'll get you another one. Now, what I want to talk about, because this is a very industry standard floor plan. I want to talk about the Eagle doing Eagle things, the things that separate this. Like first and foremost, a seven foot three inch ceiling clearance. I'm not really aware of another travel trailer outside of destination trailers that can match that. Now, another thing, you don't see the square, so you won't hear the air, not as much anyway, with this whisper ducted air system. And it is whisper ducted in both the living room here and the bedroom, and they're both 15,000 BTU units. So you're getting maximum cooling power. You're also getting, with a taller ceiling, taller slide outs. And that is what allows them to build a literal fifth wheel slide out into the side of this thing, encompassing this gigantic 22 cubic foot residential fridge with water dispenser, with ice maker, um, just all kinds of good news going on in here. Big Bird Eagle, as opposed to HT, gets salad surface kitchen counters. And I'm going to try to point out updates and differences uh, in this being a 23 versus the HTs as well. But first of all, let me get you right over here. Because if you're looking at a floor plan like this, you're looking to do more than just camping. This is some glamp fabulous kind of uh, uh, time right here. And that TV is on the perfect boardwalk and park place position where you are not neck cranking your way all around. And it's not mounted super, super high in that taller ceiling where, you know, you, you still get neck stress looking up there. New JBL sound system sounding good in here. I, I, still, I don't know. It's a... It's an RV sound system. It's not the most amazing thing in the world. It's not terrible, though. I do like that. Uh, electric space heat and bunion burner down there, along with the big furnace and just taking that nip out of the air. And over here, whether you want to lounge out or you've got some guests, you have yourself that uh, rear uh, either lounging or hide-a-bed sleeper sofa. And we're going to get to see all of that and all of this cabinetry open in just a minute. But first, looking over here on the campsite, which is where I think most people want their windows. 
which is where this one has all of the windows. And I personally really like it when manufacturers make their windows in the super slide symmetrical like that, how everything is just big. The trick is it lets in so much light. Are you noticing how the color of everything is kind of changing before your eyes? Like I'm not doing any magic filtering or anything on this video. There's just so much light flooding in the camera doesn't know what to do with it effectively. Um, the uh, super slide over here is carpetless, matching the main floor. And that's another thing along with the big ceiling and the lighter, brighter farmhouse decor that makes this look and feel bigger. But if you don't, sorry, I, I should probably try to hold the camera level. I'm all crooked, stupid over here talking, not looking. <laughs> but um, you, you can also get that very rich, warm craftsman brown decor. If you're not uh, into all the whites with the little distressed accenting or anything like that. Now, by default over here, you would normally have a, uh, a, a table with four chairs. Well, we're looking at one of the optional arrangements here, and I'd like to hear what you people think about this, because uh, the little kind of half booth Franken table has some storage in it. This still comes with, by the way, the four chairs, the two fold-away chairs, so you can still have a four table and chair setup. One of the cool things about that is that's an extension table for guests, but that bench basically if you get that option into your eagle it can always act like a little bit of an ottoman or a footrest for in front of the uh the rear sofa very cool if you've had some friends over and you're entertaining obviously like i said that is a sleeper sofa and you may not have noticed it it might have been a little bit hard to see but there are household and usb plugs on the face of both of those um sleeper sofa side stands which is a lot of s's which reminds me of in kindergarten when I learned that Mr. S likes slippery socks. Anybody else know Mr. S and his slippery socks? I'm kind of curious. Anyway, well, back to the RV and not Mr. S and his slippery socks. <laughs> Our air conditioning system, by the way, it's both vented and louvered, which means that every single air vent can be turned and closed or opened individually. Did you notice how that little shelf just kind of magically went away in that big front pantry? It's called a Mervin shelf, named after the individual, Mr. Mervin, who first kind of came up with that. And it's funny, it's just a hinge and a magnet, <laughs> but man, is it handy. Did you notice the big Culligan jug or um, the uh, uh, pronunciation en français, the Culligan but um, I don't even know if that's accurate. I, I don't speak French. If I murdered that, I'm just trying to be stupid. Um, and so don't, don't be mad at me. Anyway, that's basically got its own bottled water drinking system on that. Uh, you know, that way you don't have to bring a whole slug of extra bottles of water with you. Now, a uh, quick note over here on the refrigerator. So what we're looking at here is that big same standard fridge that you get in like a North Point or a Pinnacle fifth wheel. And really, if you look around, pocket screw cabinetry, hardwood cabinet door frames, soft close uh, kitchen drawers like this. It, if you're trying to find like what is the North Point or Pinnacle equivalent of a travel trailer, this is about as close as there is in the entire marketplace out there right now. My personal opinion. If you've seen something else you think better fits that description, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm, I'm not trying to pretend to be an authority, but... I am kind of a professional looker adder of campers. Sorry, I'm, I'm way off topic. Anyway, the fridge. Um, you have a gas electric two-way option, but it's like a 12 or 13 cubic foot. It's significantly smaller than this. Doesn't cool nearly as fast. And a lot of these big bird eagles tend to be used in a park, um, especially since we've started getting better suppliers back into the RV industry. Um, I, I've noticed far better results of residential fridges. I used to be very, very anti-resi fridge and trailers. These are doing much, much better than they used to, to the tune of they're actually becoming my preference. Whether it's a, a 110 or a 12 volt compressor fridge, I'm a big fan. I will admit though, if I had to, if I could get like that 16 cubic foot 12 volt fridge in here, ooh, I would like that. It just, it just makes me feel good, you know? Now, another cool thing here I like to showcase is the BM Pro command system that's standard on all these Eagles. And you know, can you touch screen all of the things? Sure. But you can also just push one button and man, all the lights come on. But a lot of people, I found a lot of people don't know that you can actually dim your lights with this system right here off the BM Pro uh, command panel. I don't know why. That's like one of the best kept secrets in camping. And I'm sure a couple people watching this are like, well, yeah. You know, it's almost like the fact that you can control one of the ducks in Duck Hunt with the second controller. Which... By the way, I found out a lot of people also never knew on the NES playing Duck Hunt, the Player 2 control pad can actually control one of the ducks on the screen. Go check it out.
or don't. I can't really tell you what to do. But what I can do is show you around this huge bathroom right here. Um, so first of all, over on the right hand side, you see how you have that uh, towel bar there. As we work our way down looking at the storage and the little, um, you know, hand towel hook, you've got, uh, you know, both the, the ring, the bar, you've got I mean, you've got all the Olympic medals all wrapped up into this thing. Uh, any sort of gymnastic sport, I think you could uh, compete in here in this bathroom. Porcelain foot flush stool on a perfect angle. So this thing, it, if you're tall, if you're small, if you're something in between, you're going to fit just fine in this. And did you notice there were four switches on the light switch panel? You've got the backlit morning mirror that we're looking at, your ceiling light fixtures. You've got your, uh, well, this is actually a Max Air Power vent fan with a, uh, a roof protection mount basically built right onto it. And you've got that little blue LED nightlight over there. But you've also got insane headroom in this thing because it is so awful tall. And since we're calling this a flat deck fifth wheel, why not put a full on fifth wheel size shower in this thing, complete with a nice little, you know, comfort, convenience, and bathing seat. The other thing that you can do here is you can basically, if nothing else, use that as like the shelf for your shampoos and body washes and everything else. I would say hair care products, but if you hadn't noticed, I don't need a lot of those with my balding hairline, my five head. And finally, our bedroom before we close it up in road mode or step outside. Now, king bed and queen bed, they're still both available, but they did standardize the 70 by 80 king bed this year. So you can still get a 60 by 80 queen, but you actually option into the queen instead of option into the king. And they did that just because like over 90% of people were ordering this with a king bed anyway. So they said, well, why fight it? Remember, extra tall in here. You saw tons of room to get dressed quieter running air conditioner so you don't blow your eardrums out when the compressor kicks on and a very deep bed slide allows for extra large breeze through windows once again you've got that uh big dresser spare well room to get dressed as it were or if someone's getting dressed you can walk past your partner which is kind of cool looking down under that bed that's where those two little guest chairs uh would be located but the thing is under this whole front closet is a big outside pass-through but you still have monster storage in the front of this thing. What's really cool, they went same as they did in their fifth wheels with side-by-side -side washer dryer prep. Um, so you always have closet and dresser space in the middle, but uh, you can use the whole thing for like, you know, personal hanging storage or closet space or dresser space or whatever. But you could also put a combo or a stackable unit in this, kind of a little bit of whatever you would prefer. And with that extra tall ceiling, you have plenty of space up here if you want to put I'm shooting from the hip, like a 32 inch or so TV up here, downward facing toward the bed a little bit so you don't get a neck crank. I don't see why that couldn't be done. And as far as a big unit goes, the travel function on this one is, it's, a, it's about as good as I think you could hope to get in a big giant triple slide unit. Um, very similar again to the 321 RSTS Eagle, where your bathroom and your bedroom, they're very uh, readily accessible over here off of the hallway side right when you first come in the door. The question becomes, what kind of snack-tastic access do we have? And if you notice, they left enough room between this slide and the kitchen here. It doesn't pinch everything off. You can get in here. You can get to the fridge. With the residential fridge, though, the island will block you from getting into the freezer. With the gas electric two-way, you can still get into the majority of both the fridge and the freezer, but again, that's a smaller capacity unit. So, if you appreciate the way that we take the time to close this up and show you around the road mode, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep on rolling outside. Now, we're going to get to all that landing gear craziness in just a minute. The first thing I want to do, I want to put some safety stuff here before the sale, and I want to talk towing. I mentioned this earlier, but this thing, empty, without cargo, is like 10,800 pounds or something like that. And tip to tail, front of the tongue to the uh, the very back of this thing, it's about 40 feet. This, I mean, it's, uh, again, it's a flat deck fifth wheel. It is big, it is heavy, it's not made to be lightweight or anything like that. You are going to need a heavy duty vehicle to pull this. And I, this is just not the kind of thing I want somebody saying, well, what if I push it a little? I don't, I don't like, you're not salt and pepper, don't try pushing it, anyway. Now, remember that this one is actually on its way out the door, um, and uh, we've already put the uh, battery box, put some batteries on the front of it for our client. This I want to talk about, though, because you look at this, and it looks unfinished to me. Like, you look at it, you're like, uh, where's my tongue jack? It doesn't have one. See, these chassis all come standardized, 
so that they are, you know, set up for a power tongue jack because no one basically in the history of history has thought about getting rid of a tongue jack. Well, I guess Ember has, but not in a big travel trailer like this. But when they went with that fifth wheel landing gear and it's wide stance, if you look at it, it actually exists outside of the frame rails to give it maximum stability. Um, well, you don't really need a tongue jack. Now, I will say this, if you wanted one, it's got the same screw thread pattern. You can always just toss one right on there. That's just up to you. Now, uh, what, what is also up to you is how you want to use this front cargo tray area. It is kind of slotted so that if you wanted to put batteries side by side, you can even fit a generator up here in this little hutch. It's going to be a lot easier to put that in if you first take off the propane bottles, of course. But that is exactly what this is sized and designed to do. Now, unfortunately, I am parked right up next to some other stuff here. So I'm going to do my David Blaine Alakazam maneuver and teleport over by the baggage compartment. Which, as a cat would say, is where we find ourselves right now. Now, notice there's a little cold water sprayer port in the upper right uh, kind of corner beside the baggage area. Just a handy little campsite cleanup space if you are so inclined. And, uh, you know, if you're going to have a big trailer like this, you want a, uh, a big hitch to go with it, which is what we have these folks set up here for. I'm a big fan of that recurve series. If you've never, if you're like, I'm new to camping, I don't know what kind of hitch to get. Look at one of those. Now, this has a residential fridge. So you have an 1800 watt inverter, which is a cool thing Jayco does. They do it a little bit bigger and that will power multiple outlets in this RV. Even though this doesn't have any kind of solar package, several of the outlets can actually be live off that inverter. But look what they're doing up here. Exactly the same thing they do in their fifth wheels. They add that radiant barrier layering there so that you don't have a significant hot cold interchange pouring all your um, warm air uh, or your cold air out through the closet into the baggage compartment, which is something that most brands might suffer from. And you're just going to have a, a little bit better, more even cooling and heating experience here. The double power awning, considering this has that door side super slide, is very welcome and it does give us maximized patio coverage, but I'm always fair. One of the things to kind of consider is if it's a rainy day, and it's not just Jake, it's just, it's, it's just a thing that happens with this design. When you have steps like this, when you have an entry door, right next to the edge of an awning for any reason. If it's raining, especially next to a slide, you're just getting misty spritzed in the face. There's just not a whole lot of way you can really avoid it. But you can avoid from having to worry about those steps falling down and knocking you on the head or crushing your Pomeranian because they're the zero gravity variety, which is cool. They also get up out the way so that we can have a better look at their four star ride and handling package. They do all the same work here that they do on Eagle fifth wheels. We are on Goodyear Endurance radials. Uh, we have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system with bronze bushings and uh, wet bolt fasteners. And what all of that means in English is that you have uh, better tires for more peace of mind and you have a suspension that will soak up more shocks and jolts and allow you to, to service it to keep it in better operating condition uh, for long-term ownership. So uh, people spend a lot of money doing that Moride outfit and that is standard here on Eagle. Similarly, the, uh, the Goodyear tires have factory standard tire pressure monitoring. It all syncs up with the BM Pro command center there. So you don't have to get extra hardware or anything. You know, all that peace of mind towing travel stuff, even on this big trailer, it's all built right in. So it's a big rig. You might not want to tow it, but if you do, it's well equipped to do it. We've also got maximized uh, breeze windows all the way around here. Both power awnings have lighting, of course. I want to mention that because not every RV does. Look at the double marker lights at the top of the RV. That is, uh, that's one of the indicators of this one having that J-Smart lighting system. And basically what that will do is, oh, they got a little sticker here. Terrific. Okay, so if you flip on your uh, right-hand turn signal, all of the lights down the side of the RV will blink along with your turn signal so other people have an idea what you're doing, which is kind of nice because a big rig like this, I do definitely recommend towing extension mirrors, but the fact is you may still have a little bit of uh, like, you know, reduced visibility, blind spots, things like that to worry about. Now, if you look over here, they got away from the Schwintech slides on their kitchens and they went with a cable system. And the reason they did that is because um, cables work really well on shallow straight in and out slides like this. Like that's not quite deep enough to really be a good effective rack and pinion slide, but it will handle the heavy weight of a big kitchen slide better than a Schwintech type slide. So every slide system has different benefits, different advantages, all kinds of things. Uh, by the way, 
Under the belly, you can't really see it from here. It does have a sewer hose tube, so you don't have to get pink eye mixing that with your patio chairs. And looking up top, we have that plywood decked roof, which almost nothing in this class has. Your 30,000 BTUs of air conditioners spread across the dual 15K units are up there. And this is always going to be roof and side solar prepped. And this year, they are offering like three or four different levels of Jayco's Overlander solar package on this. I think what you're going to see from us is a lot of the 200 watt systems just to help keep that battery tended up. That's certainly not going to keep that refrigerator running indefinitely. But if you wanna go big, sexy, big solar, they have some fun, cool options coming this year. But I almost forgot, up here um, under the headboard in the bed slide, there's about an armpit deep um, storage pocket there because they, they do separate the inside from the outside storage in that compartment. What is neat though, remember, we do have a full true pass-through and just like a fifth wheel, you have that fully privatized docking center. Um, it's heated, it's protected, your gate pulls, your valves, all that stuff, it, it's up away from the weather. That's one of about 37 things they do on these along with just a lot of radiant barrier work and a big furnace pump and heat into that belly to uh, help this achieve that zero to 100 degree rating that Eagle's been doing way before people worried about is it four seasons. That's just Eagle doing Eagle things. So let me know, what do you like, and what do you think about all this craziness up front here? I wanna hear your comments. Are they moving the right direction? Do you like what they're doing here? And the one thing I can tell you, that is a very stable system. When that is all set and leveled, it takes that herky-jerkiness out of it. So if you're very motion sensitive, it's <laughs> sensitive, you get seasick when people move around the RV, you might wanna look at something like this. Cause man, I tell you, if I was just gonna leave something parked somewhere, I wanted that nice destination luxury feel, this one is on my radar more than it ever was before. And I've liked this trailer for a long time. So let me hear from you. And when you're ready, we're ready. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bish's RV here in Coldwater, Michigan, my hometown store with the new updates on the three... Can't, can't talk.